Your only hope is to get one of the deuces in the deck to win this particular hand. On the other hand, if you put your opponent on top pair and your aces are still alive, you need to include those three aces when calculating your outs. Your position relative to the button should also be taken into account. If you're holding a hand with fewer outs, it's only worthwhile for you to stay in the pot if there's little chance of a raise after you. The better your position, the less likely a raise will occur, thus increasing the value of your hand. Of course, determining your own outs is not always that obvious, because you're not always looking for the best hand you could make. You're just looking for a hand that's better than what your opponent probably has. These are times when you want to figure out how many outs you have against all possibilities of what your opponent could have. Now follow me here, this is kind of a complex example. For example, say you're holding the Ace of Diamonds and the Queen of Clubs. The player right before you bets. You raise, he calls. The flop comes Ace of Hearts, Eight of Clubs, and Five of Spades.